Hey there, golfers and golf fans. Tom Segudo here, PGA member and founder of Segudo Golf, here with your weekly e tip. And once again, another winter workout type of e tip so you can work on in the comfort of your own home and improve your golf swing at the same time. We need that this time of year when the weather's very moody, gets down to 20 degrees and it goes up to 70 degrees, and we're really not sure what it wants to do. So I figured. An indoor tip is the best way to go this time of year. You can never work on your game enough during the winter. In fact, it's in the winter that a lot of times you can make or break your swing when you're getting ready for that, that uh, March, April time to get back fully into golf. So paying attention to your swing in the winter has a lot of benefits. If we're sitting around doing nothing in the winter with our golf games, you end up feeling really rusty come March and April when you want to hit the golf game wagon very hard. And what we're going to be talking about today, you've seen me do a video about club face awareness. That's a great way for you to get through the winter, understanding your swing even more. This week, I want to talk to you about how the body should work in the golf swing. Because a lot of people ask me, what starts the golf swing for one? What do you feel starts the golf swing? And, and what's the best way to swing a club with your body in general? And, and it's a very broad question. What starts the golf swing? How should my golf swing be working? And the winter is a great way to find out because what is driving your golf swing can sometimes be the reason you either have a swing flaw or you feel like you're out of sequence all the time. Your body's not synchronized with your arms or the club is just going all over the place. You don't feel good. It doesn't feel right to you. So this episode will be exclusively on sequencing, how the body works, how the club head moves as you swing the club. So first of all, I want to start, we'll get this adjusted. We're going to start with, first of all, we're going to start with our setup. I want to make sure that you are in a, an effective setup position because our body is going to react accordingly to this setup. So a good setup, and if you haven't seen my episode before, I'm going to run over very quickly here, but check out one of my setup videos in my YouTube channel in the previous videos that I've uploaded. Just want you to start with the club out in front of you like this, standing up nice, nice and straight. Push your butt back just a little bit. This gets the spine unlocked. Bend forward from the, from the back till the club hits the ground. So our arms are straight. Push my butt out, bend forward, boom. When the club hits the ground, I've built a relationship to the golf ball. My body is in line with the golf ball. My hips are angled slightly downward. Not too much down, but just, just slightly downward. My back is gently rounded as if I was just going to shake hands with the golf ball. So envision shaking hands with your right hand, lean forward, shake hands with the golf ball. There we are, we're good. You need this relationship to the golf ball. It's critical for good contact to maintain this relationship to the ball as we swing the club. Some of you might be saying, I don't make any divots when I hit, or I take too much of a deep divot, or my swing is all over the place. A lot of times it comes down to your relationship with the golf ball. So we need to maintain this relationship throughout the swing. Now the swing starting mechanism. The swing is going to start by the turning of the shoulders here. So it's not necessarily independently hands, independently arms. It's going to be entirely shoulder based. And this can be confusing because you hear everybody say, turn the shoulders. And we just have to turn the shoulders the right way. The golf swing is, an, is a much simpler motion if you allow your body to execute it instead of trying to micromanage all the finer points. Every time we try to micromanage this club face, it changes the direction of the swing incredibly. So I can use my hands to micromanage this club head many different ways. But by the time I do that, my body has to react accordingly. So every little action I make with my hands, I do this with my hands, I roll them, my body's going to make me swing over the top. Or if I take the club up like this, I might loop it too much the other way. The hands are not the primary driver of the golf swing. Neither are the arms, because if I just swing my arms, my body is stationary. My body does not react. I have no chance to create a smooth swinging motion. And a lot of times we get stuck or we don't have enough chance to create power because my body's not reacting. I don't have any hip turn. 
uh, I'm not able to load any weight into my left side to create more speed. The best golfers, you watch them, very dynamic swing motion. This is why this episode is so important. So we've established a relationship to the ball. The shoulders are the primary driver. To get the feeling, place the club across your chest. Turn your shoulders so that this club grip end points more down towards the ground. Not level, but down here towards the ground. You might feel like you're turning your shoulders down. And this is a good thing. As I turn my shoulder downward, which is keeping me, by the way, if you look at the angle here of my back, I'm maintaining the same angle to the ground as I turn my shoulders. And as I do that, it engages the entire body. So simply by maintaining your angle to the ground and turning the shoulders around this, your body reacts accordingly. My hips turn. My weight stays over my left side. I'm not trying to shift anything. It is completely natural. That is the proper sequencing. So when we get the club in our hands, going to do the same motion. I want this left shoulder to go down. As I'm doing this, I'm turning my left shoulder downward. Watch where the club's going. This is just that. I'm not forcing the hands to do anything. I'm not forcing the arms to do anything. Purely the shoulders, the upper back. So we're taking it back, upper back's control, take away, boom, perfect position. The club is in line with the hands here. Continuing to turn the shoulders. Let the club go where it wants to go, don't force it. I'm just letting gravity, gravity's going to put this club in this position because the heavier, the club, the club head is heavier here, so it's going to start laying over this way. As it gets heavier, it's laying over this way because the club head is heavier um, then the grip end. So we've got shoulder working down, club head in line with the hands here, good. Continue turning, gravity's getting in the way, my hands intercept my right bicep. Continue turning until your shoulders stop at the top here. Your hands should be behind your right shoulder. Your club head should be at pointing parallel down the target line, not across your body, not laid over this way, but somewhere right in between. And right here, I should feel like there's weight on my left side. Not too much, not leaning forward, and not hanging back this way. We need to have a very centered position over the ball for good contact. So that takes us to the top of the backswing. Downswing begins. Keep the club in this position. Let gravity do all the work for you. Start by moving weight into your left side and turning your shoulders back the other way. Look what happens with the club head here. Gravity is causing the club head to stay on the proper path of the ball. I'm not doing any micromanaging. So gravity's in charge into the ball, moving weight into my left side, into impact, and continuing to turn my upper chest through the shot to the finish. Pretty cool, huh? Easier said than done. You have to give up control of the club head. Resist the urge to control these motions of the club head with your hands and arms. Micromanaging your swing will result in a lot of different uh, shot shapes and variables for you because you have to control every little, every little motion that your hands make and arms make versus one body motion controlled by gravity. It's far more repeatable for me to turn my shoulders, allow gravity to work, properly than it is to micromanage the entire swing. So, so good old golfers, I hope you enjoyed this episode. This is one of my favorite topics is getting you to start seeing the golf swing in a different light. Don't think of it as many different pieces that you have to get right or perfect. Just think of it as this is your golf swing. Use your upper back, turn your upper back, let the club react and let the club do the work for you and you'll be much happier. So Tom Segudo here, PGA member, founder of Segudo Golf, helping you to make the most out of the game you love. Have an awesome week, and I'll see you on the range. Stay warm out there.